Hello, I'm Graham Watson. I'm very sorry not to be with you in person today. I had hoped to be, but unforeseen developments here have prevented me from travelling. What I would like is to send you very best wishes for a successful conference. I think it's hugely important that liberal-minded people in Hungary come together and plot a path forward for the future. Hungary desperately needs a viable liberal force. Viktor Orban may claim to be a liberal. Much of what he has done in government has shown that he is anything but. We need a party that will fight for freedom of the press and media. We need a party that will work to ensure the independence of the judiciary. We need a party to support the vital need for an independent central bank and a party that will resist all of the attacks on freedom that are carried out either by the government or by others wearing extremist clothes. Hungary is a central member of the European Union. Your accession to Europe, so long awaited for, was welcomed across the continent with open arms because Europe needs a country like Hungary with all of the historical experience, all of the cultural diversity and richness, all of the reputation for new ideas and the brains in people's heads that it brings. Hungary has an important contribution to make to the European Union, but I believe too the European Union has an important contribution to make to Hungary. And part of that is insisting on the democratic rights and freedoms to which we have all subscribed. Europe is, in many ways, a remarkable place. It is the only continent completely free from the death penalty. It is a continent in which people in prisons are not tortured. It is a continent in which attacks or threats of to the physical integrity of individuals by the state are extremely limited and when they do occur are opposed very strongly. It is a continent in which the freedom of expression, the freedom of assembly, the freedom of conscience and thought and the freedom to develop oneself as one chooses are anchored in our constitutions and our bills of rights. Of course there is much to be achieved. There are many areas where Europe and where all of our member states fall short. One of them is the fact that we fail to integrate properly into our society almost 15 million people of Roma extraction in many countries across the continent. The Roma are a people without a homeland and we must ensure that we offer them democratic rights. We fail too in many countries towards our young people not being able to offer them the jobs that will give them dignity and a purpose in life. We fail too often many of our old people and many of the working poor and we are struggling to ensure that sovereign debt is properly dealt with, that our banks are sufficiently well capitalized and that we are investing enough in innovation to ensure that our economy will be a success. Liberals fight for all of these things and you in Hungary have a great tradition of fighting for them too. I hope that from your discussions today will emerge the basis for the creation of a new liberal force in your country. European Liberals and Democrats stand behind you in this. We stand ready to help. And I hope that in the near future I will be able to visit you along with many other Liberals from across the continent to work with you in the task of making sure that the liberal voice is heard 
in every capital city, indeed in every city, in every country of our continent. I wish you the very best of luck in your discussions today.